Hey everybody, welcome to Talent Talks, brought to you by the good folks at Saba Software, the only series that's dedicated to making your managers of people better coaches. I'm Chris Dunn, CHRO at Kinetics, based out of Atlanta, doing work nationally. Got a great topic for you today. How do you make, if you've got a skills gap with an employee, how do you set a developmental goal with that employee without making them feel inadequate? Here's what I would tell you about developmental goals. You generally only do developmental goals in one of two instances. First of all, you do them when there's a skills gap that somebody has to close to actually get to kind of a meets proficiency in the job. And the reality is that if they don't close that skills gap, they may, may not be in the job for a very long period of time. They may have to leave the job, leave the company. It's not a great situation for anybody. The second time they use a developmental goal is where somebody's performing fine, but you wanna prepare them for the future. You wanna prepare them for succession planning. So with both of those two circumstances in mind, here's what I recommend if you've got an employee that needs a developmental goal to close a skills gap. The first thing you've gotta do is you've gotta be honest with them. So don't hide from the fact that they've got a skills gap and the developmental goal is really kind of being formulated to help them close that skills gap because if they don't do it, they won't be successful in the job and they probably won't be successful in the company. But just as critical, you've got to leverage the fact that you care as a manager and you've got to flip that around and say the following. You've got to say something along the lines of, so I'm setting this developmental goal for you, but I've got to tell you that if you close this skills gap, you're going to own this skill, whether it's knowledge, skill, ability, KSAs, whatever it is, you're going to own this skill forever and it's going to be really good for your career and it's going to mean that your ability to be successful in our company is great. So I think when you think about developmental goals, don't hide from the fact that there's a skills gap, but you've got to quickly transition to let that employee know that A, you believe in them and B, that you're really their coach. And if they close this skills gap, it's something they're gonna own forever. And they've got the ability to be successful in the years to come based on this developmental goal that you're setting, based on the fact that you're gonna chase it together. You've gotta to make them believe that it's like less disciplinary and it's really more about growing them as an employee. And if you do that in that lens, then you've got a great chance for the employee to feel great about the developmental goal you're setting without thinking that it's some type of proxy for them to leave the company. Hey, developmental goals are an important part of you being an effective manager for the people who report to you. Do them the right way, and you can close the skills gap with a developmental goal and still look like a great manager of people. That's it for this episode of Talent Talks brought to you by Saba Software. If you liked what you heard here, make sure you like us below. If you really liked what you heard, not only like us, subscribe so you can get automatic notifications every time a new episode of Talent Talks drops. I'm Chris Dunn, I'm out.